Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Hello and welcome to today's video. I've got here for you a Carado Van 132. It is the 15 year anniversary edition. This one here will cost 53,000 euros. How come it is so cheap? It's because it's a used vehicle. I'm gonna take you all the way around first. I'm gonna show you the garage because I think the garage is an important thing to actually see so you understand the layout inside. I don't often start with the garage, but then again, it sort of makes it a bit more interesting uh, for me. So you can see what you've actually got in the garage. You could get one bicycle. I've also actually got the, uh, what says here, the standard equipment that comes with it. So this was a rental model. So you're getting all of this stuff uh, when you rent the vehicle. I always say rent, don't buy because you mightn't like it. And if after a couple of days in a rental and you've only got a week in it, well, you'll have five days of, left of misery and that'll be it. But uh, if you don't like it at all and you buy one, well, you it can expect a major financial outlay there. It's got this bike carrier here on the back. This vehicle is only 200 and 14 centimeters across. It's uh, 599 long. Uh, second entrance there into the uh, into the garage. Uh, you've got the two uh, gas cylinders in here. And this here, I, I can't recall if I opened, no I didn't. So anyway, this, this is a service hatch. It's not the uh, cassette toilet, the toilet's under the side. It's got here a magnetic um, catch. And so when you put this up, if I had the key, I'd have opened it and <laughs> shown you, and it would have held in position. That's where your water goes in, and that's where your diesel goes in. Now, let's come inside, and uh, oh, Citroen base as well, as you see. So you can understand a little bit more now of the way it is inside. Now, I think a small vehicle is really good. It's much easier to drive and it's easy to park. And I think it's the parking bit I like above all. Widthwise bed at the back, ladder up to the bed. Let's go up the ladder. I can demonstrate the amount of storage you've got there. Got a ledge there. Still don't see the point of a ledge in a van. I've got a ledge in my own van now. I might find out. And uh, skylight and window. And the window comes with a net curtain. And of course, it comes with mosquito net and the blind. And now, I personally prefer to have these two on one track, but there may be people who want to have them on separate tracks. Uh, right, uh, here we have three burners, but for a six metre van, I think you've got a lot of space here in the kitchen, aided of course by the additional storage up here and up here. Fridge down here. It's a three way Fetford fridge. And on the other side, we've got some more storage, but to show you it, I'm going to have to move this. There's the ladder. Put the ladder on the bed. That's a good place for a ladder. And down here we have... Oh, and this. Oh, there's a bin in the door. Storage, you can see the wheel arch, 
and here there we have the wardrobe and it's quite a big wardrobe you may think that aha uh -huh, it's taking up space on the garage yes that's true it is and uh, what do you rather have a wardrobe or space in the garage down here we have got the Truma Frost Guard. I've done a separate video on this. I think this is a particularly brilliant piece of equipment. I've come to appreciate it. It's been in vans for a very long time. Um, it was my in my vehicle. It's a sort of a red one. Um, just you have to pull the red thing up. And with this, if you want to dump the water, what you do is you turn this around. Uh, this thing here. Yeah, press that in and it will when the temperature is too low it pops out by itself and it dumps the water for you and it dumps the water for me what's the point of that the point of that is so that your tank doesn't freeze it uh, dumps the water out at around three degrees centigrade when the internal temperature is three degrees so to avoid it happening just keep the temperature inside above three degrees all right so this is what the washroom looks like and as you can see there's a false wall let's open this with one hand note probably normally do it with two and there's the shower and that opens up at the it opens up quite well. In fact, I'll come inside because I want to show you how much space there is in this thing here. So if I turn this round, and there's me in the shower. Obviously, I wouldn't be in the shower with the duckboard and my shoes on and dressed unless I want to get the clothes clean or something. But uh, so it gives you an indication, and of course, there's more space. I'm 175 centimeters tall, five foot ten, and uh, so lots of space in here in my opinion. You know, for a van of this size, again, I think that's a, a good sized washroom. Storage here. Place to hang your towels there. Skylight. Now, of course, as you're about to leave, uh, go on the campsite, you want to have a look yourself in the mirror and you kind of get your tie straight, as you can see from that. Now, uh, this here, I like this layout. Um, it's simple, because sort of bear in mind, it's not, a very, it's not an expensive van. I know 53,000 is a stack of cash in your pocket. Stack of cash is a huge amount. But for, as far as a motorhome is concerned, it's a pretty good price. Uh, what I like, actually, we've got the forward bench, okay, nothing particularly, maybe out, out of the ordinary. The table is pretty large for a vehicle of this size. Above it, we've got this stor storage up there. We've got the television there, which you can uh, watch by turning these very nice seats around. And over here, we've got storage. And we've got here a wardrobe. I think this is very similar to the Heimer van, uh, which I I owned ten years ago. I think very it's very similar in many ways. So it's got lots of <laughs> lots of similar things. And okay, um, place to hang your coats on the door. Very good idea. Here we've got a uh, insect screen. And now, uh, light on in here. I want to show you this here. So on the on the control panel up here, next to the uh, Truma Combi uh, heating and water, if I turn this off, the lights go out, except for this one. This is the the entry door. I think all Heimer Group companies do this now. This this light needs to be turned off down here. There you go. So it's off. So it, it's not on the. It's not on this here. And the lights have come on. You can see there's some lights on there behind me. So 
so I'll turn the I'll turn this off though altogether. It's not necessary. Uh, and here you can see on this one here that shows that the um, um, the electric hookup is uh, connected. And from here we can see how much water is there in it. And, sorry, I'll turn off this. No water. Oh, there is. There is some water. There's a little bit in. And uh, what's this doing? There's plenty of electricity in the habitation battery. So let's now have a look at some of the details. So first thing is this Carrado Van 132 ED15. I think the ED means the edition 15. It's 15 years of uh, the company Carrado. So Carrado and Sunlight, it's a, a holding company it's called Capron. And uh, it's located in um, Neustadt in Sachsen in eastern Germany. And uh, most modern factory in the world. You can see my visit to the factory uh, from a few years ago now and so the bed uh, measures 194 by 140 by 130 and uh, right so the length of the van is 595 i think i said it was 599 so i apologize if i said that uh that width 214 height 287 and the standing height 195 we haven't got the empty weight but i can say that with um this there's at least 500 kilos of payload in any case there's only two of you in it is only sleeping for two and um so it's got a uh environment sticker number four uh mean green so that's the, that's for germany and uh, euro 60 final and it's currently on 21 and a half thousand kilometers right so this is the interesting bit of course we've got the price there 53,000 and uh, so you've got it just comes with a special packet for the equipment inside that's free uh, led <laughs> daytime driving lights it's got here aha Falt Verdunkel Verdunkelung Fahrerhaus. That is this thing here at the front. So for your 599 euros darkening system, I shall show you how it works. So what we do, close this like that, comes across like this to make it darker. There we go. And then we've got on the other side here as well. This one here comes across and the other one comes across. They meet together in the center and it makes it darker and we repeat it across there. And when we want to close it, very gently does it. So it doesn't sort of, it continues to fold in the same places and it clips in here. This joins by magnet. This is, is joined currently with a magnet. And then we move this back very, very gently very gently does it there we go and this then clips into here at least that's supposed to there you go and that is your darkening system up front let's have a look at worlds you have to pay for so uh holtz roast in the douche that's a duck board um it's the cables are prepared for the solar equipment that's 149 you saw the bike uh, carry on the back so it was a three bike carrier for 390 as uh, so the last one's documenta is your uh, documentation your number plates etc and the last one is uh, for um, delivery so that uh, gives you an idea that's uh, what you're actually paying for if you are interested in getting a an X rental model such as this one, then I shall leave in the um, description below the address, and you can contact them yourself should you so want. Okay, so let's now depart from the van. Open there. Step is out down here and step there's the thing to make the step go in i'll show you the step going in notice it did that without the 12 volt being on and close the door so and there'll be some more information in the description as i've already said thanks very much for watching hope you found that interesting and all the best from me in Heilbronn, Germany.
first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've been doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew. So I had to feel 100% about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now, what's the point of a toilet additive? Well, when you use the toilet, then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now, uh, if you just urinate into it, then there should be no problem. But if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's uh, ecological. What it's got inside, are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well, I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's it's a bit. Uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice. Uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature, I mean, there's even there's warnings that I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like, I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in the fish tank, then the fish will die. So um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now the blue stuff as well, I've noticed I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it into the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not, but um, it's uh, with this stuff, it's, uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is 
when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time, you think, hang on, just a minute, I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way, that's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem. And um, let's have another look at it, because here it comes in two. Uh, this one, one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use. Now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know, but it's it's different. This contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now, um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now, I previously worked in the packaging industry. And indeed, I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert, but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe, I think, to use. It's not, I mean, it's often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here in theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the, oh sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong, just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will go out. But I, may, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is, but uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic, it's, uh, and, uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now I do appreciate that. Um, in um, with if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although, I think if you're into motorhomes, then you probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it for, really. I think I think it's the call of nature, this contact with nature and all the rest of it. So I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I I would want to do, whether or not. I'm prepared to pay a premium. Yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it, but in all honesty, this between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link. It just tells you where to get the stuff from. Um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite, but I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.